Uh, you went online with classes last spring after COVID hit. What made you guys decide to take the leap and return to in-person classes this fall? That's a great question, George. I guess the, the best way to, to answer that is because our philosophy is to teach, model, mentor, and then evaluate. And the modeling piece was missing. The modeling piece on online, you can only do so much. And so uh, after two months of online exclusively, we took the, the steps to try to reopen here in August, and we were successful in doing so. Just a small number of students, my understanding, opted out of your in-person classes as fall in favor of your online program. Were you guys surprised that so many families have uh, wanted their children to physically uh, return to school? You know, I, yes, we were a little surprised. I, I think having those two months, it really showed parents what teachers do every single day. And uh, we heard comments like, hey, uh, I think every teacher should get a Mercedes if we can go back to school. So, But we were pleasantly surprised at how many came back and are thriving in the environment this week. You have an early education center at the school that has actually stayed open uh, throughout the pandemic, and you've had zero cases of COVID. What did you, uh, what do you think uh, has kept your kids safe all this time? Well, obviously, I, I think our local and state health departments have really done a great job of giving us guidelines and things that we could follow, and we followed them. Uh, but I, I think uh, our handprints, our early education center, is a, is a great example of being able to follow the guidelines, and still have in-person education. So uh, they became kind of our beta test site from March until the end of June, really. Uh, what kind of steps have you guys taken in order to protect the kids as they come back to school uh, this month? Well, that's, well, we've done a number of things. We started with uh, putting in new air filtration systems on both campuses, so we clean the air when it comes in, and the circulated air is constantly being cleaned. We have cleaning protocols that happen hourly and, and uh, daily and weekly. Uh, we have uh, temperature checks that we do of all of our employees. Uh, we have you know, done just a number of things that would keep the environment as risk-free as possible. You can't eliminate all of it, but you certainly can mitigate that, and I think we've been successful in doing so. And as the classrooms, as the kids come back, are they maintaining social distancing, the six feet or more apart from each other? Well, you know, that's the toughest part, to be totally honest with you, because kids want to be in community and they want to, they, they want, they're social beings. And so that is what we have to work on every single day and really every minute of every day. But uh, so far this week, uh, we're getting that habit built in and, and that culture is, is beginning to, to kind of permeate our complete campus. So uh, we'll keep working at that, but that has to happen. We also have a mask mandate for 11 years and older, so we do follow that here as well. Sure. Uh, last question. The pandemic, as you know, has brought suffering and has been challenging at uh, some levels for uh, really every family across the United States. But I'm wondering where you've seen the Lord at work in your schools and what are some uh, blessings uh, that you've seen as uh, that has come out from this uh, from your standpoint well i, I think the the first thing is that uh, we're built to be in community and i think having that taken away to the degree that it has been has really um, caused us to appreciate it more and then i think the second thing is to just see how the lord has guided uh, by bringing the right people at the right time in order to fulfill all the mandates as well as the protocols. And then I think the third thing is just the, the way that the Holy Spirit has created such a cooperative attitude. Um, it takes everyone, and I mean everyone, in order to do this. And so we've been really, really pleased with the way that the, the Lord has just really shown up in something that uh, nobody ever predicted. Uh, sounds like you got a little emotional there, talking about uh, just the fact uh, how many people it takes to, to make this all uh, happen. Elaborate real quickly. Well, it, it takes a team. Uh, you know, it takes everybody doing what they've been called to do. And, and I, I will tell you, they do it with passion. 
If you don't have the passion to do it, then it's a job. And for us, we've seen that it has become really solid about the calling that our teachers and our administrators and our school leaders have on their lives. And they are really living that out to the fullest now. And we're really, really pleased about that. All right, terrific. We'll have to here leave it there. Dr. Roland, thank you so much for all you guys are doing. And good luck as the semester gets underway there in Colorado. Thanks, George. We appreciate it. God you, bless. You're welcome.